Hi, Marco here. Let's find out how we can integrate TeamCity Cloud and Slack so you can get Slack messages whenever, for example, build starts or finishes or fails. As always, open up your project or rather your build configuration. Edit your configuration and open up the build feature section. Add a new build feature. Scroll down a bit and you'll find the notifications feature, which could also send emails, but for now we just want to configure Slack. Now you'll be prompted with a couple of options you need to fill in. And first of all, you need to have a running connection between your TeamCity server and Slack. You do that by going to your parent project's settings and click add connection, if you haven't done so already, and um, simply choose Slack. Now what you need to do is on the Slack side, you actually need to create a Slack application with the specific rights that you can see here in this window. And then you can simply go open up your application homepage in Slack, scroll down a bit, and you'll find the app credentials. I'm just going to copy them here now. So the client ID, right, going to paste that in. Then the client secrets, please don't copy my client secret. And you'll also need a bot token. And the bot token, you'll not find it on the basic information page, but rather you have to scroll down a bit, going to OAuth and permissions. And here you'll find the bot user OAuth token. Also paste that in here and now test the connection. It redirects you to Slack. Uh, what will TeamCity test be able to view? Write content info about you, that's fine. I successfully signed in as myself, right? I'll save the connection and that's it. Now back to your build configuration. Again, let me just open up that window again so TeamCity will see the connection. Right, we're gonna go with the Slack notifier. I'm going to select the Slack connection. I'm going to send messages to myself. I could actually um, choose to send it to any channel, which would, which would make a bit more sense. But for now, I'm just going to put in my name. I'm going to wait for the autocomplete. It's going to take a second. So I'm just going to choose that. It's going to be replaced with the user handle. I could send simple messages, which I'm going to do for now, or verbose messages where you can even have the team city status text and branch names and changes, whatever, in the text message. For now, I'm just going to go with the simple messages. I could also add a branch filter if I only want to get messages um, that have to do with a specific branch. And then the events, right? So the build starts, the build fails, and the build is successful. Obviously, choose whatever you'd like here. Now click Save. The notifications feature is active. Then go to your project. Right, simply run a new build. Let's wait a second for it to happen. Right, the build has started, it's running. Let's quickly check Slack. I can see that the Team City test bot sent me some messages. Here you'll find some old messages I got, but today I got uh, build 37 was started by myself. Now let's wait for the build success or failed message. Right, and after a couple of seconds, you can see that we also got build 37 was successful. So the integration is working as expected. That's about it. Bye.